Hi guys, so today, as the title says, down there, I'm going to be doing a haul, and this is not just like today or this weekend, this is like a few weeks, like a month, because it's a little bit excessive, but we're on a makeup diet now. So first I'll start off with two drugstore things that I got. Which is, I don't remember what this collection is called. Obviously we're not professional YouTubers here. Whatever, it's this one from Wet n Wild, the new spring collection. I got Walking the Red Carpet, which is nice neutral colors and a nice hoary gold. And then it's Flirting at the After Party, which is purples. I like this one. I have brown hair and white skin, but that really doesn't matter because everybody looks good in purple. But, yeah. Okay, then at Target, I went today, I got a brush from e.l.f. that I've been wanting to try, and it's the Flawless Concealer Brush. It looks like this. It looks a lot like the Sephora Airbrush Concealer Brush, whatever the one I use. And it actually feels a lot like it. Maybe I should show you instead of being an idiot. Looks like that. And I think I'm gonna like this. I generally like e.l.f. studio brushes like 95% of the time. So we'll hope that this one's good. The next thing I got was e.l.f. Zit Zapper. Obviously two zap zits. Yeah. And then I got something boring. This is Suave so Professionals Moroccan Infusion Shampoo and Conditioner. They look like this. I've heard people talk about them on YouTube and I wanted to try them and they were only like... How much were these? They were like less than three dollars. So that was good. And the last thing, which was the thing I was the most excited about because you know home decor stuff can be a little bit expensive at Target. We all love Target, but they were these mirrors. They look like this. Don't look at my messy room. That's Alex. Um, they were eight something. How much were these? Nine. Nine dollars. They were less than nine dollars. Okay. And online, these still say that they're twenty nine ninety nine. But in my store, they were less than that. And same brand and everything. And if you're wondering, it's threshold one. And they're super cute. Look how cute those are. Ignore my big head in there. See? Look how pretty that is. For only, for less than nine dollars. Looks super cute in my room. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is MAC, I guess, since this big old bag is sitting right here. And it looks like a lot because they gave me a ridiculously big bag. I've never got a bag this big at MAC before. And I felt ridiculous carrying this down the street. And by street, I mean parking lot because I don't walk anywhere. What about that life? Too lazy for that. <laughs> um, so what did I buy in this magical bag? I bought two lipsticks. The first one is in, first one is Cream in Your Coffee. And it's like a brown color, which doesn't look that like appealing. Went all valley girl. Um, but this is a very nice neutral. It looks good on a lot of skin tones from light to dark. And if it's too brown, I just mix it with something pink. But it's a really nice color. It looks good on everybody. And the next color I wanted, I mean, I bought is Snob. And I wanted this color because I think it's by, it's by, it's a Bare Minerals Moxie lipstick. And I think it's Fly High or something like that. But it's like almost the exact same color. And my Sephora was out of it when I went. It looks like that. Can you see it? Look like a little, I look extra tan when I wear that. The last thing, no, not the last thing, just kidding. And then I got a couple eyeshadows that I already put in the palette and I was too lazy to put back in the little packet. The first one is a Pro Longwear Eyeshadow in Uninterrupted. Looks like that. And I'm sure that if you watch a lot of beauty videos, you've seen, heard, whatever people talk about this color. It looks like a ugly, kecky, green, brown, mid-tone color, but it looks gorgeous on your face, on your eyes. Even if you have cool, warm, everybody. Everybody looks good in that color. Right, Alex? Right. Then I got two regular pan ones, and it's in Sketch. 
which I don't know why I didn't own that one. Everybody has that one, but I don't know. I have it now. And then this one, which was, this one is called Brown Script. And it's like a warm, it like looks kind of like clay. That is at all helpful. I don't know, do you know what clay looks like? Like natural clay? Not like Play-Doh or any of that shit, but real clay. Okay. The next thing I got is a, another duo palette. I don't know why, because in my other video I kind of complained about these, but with my pro discount, I get these for less than $5. So that's way cheaper than Z palette. That's where I went. That's why I got this one instead. And I do like them. They just take a little bit of extra effort to make them work. Um, and yeah, these are $8 now, so that's good. And the last thing I got came in a little bag like this. Because they're fancy. And it's just a big, I mean, this is a bit for you, makeup bag that looks like this. It looks kind of like a lunchbox. It's like a fat girl lunchbox, yeah. Um, you want to see the inside? It has a bunch of little compartments in there, and I thought it was a really good deal. It's these are regularly, hmm, I don't know, it's like sixty something. So I paid thirty five dollars for this after my discount. So whatever that is, that much. Okay, okay. and that's it. From there. So the next things are Stila palettes. I bought these from a friend of mine. Um. I don't know, she didn't want them. She barely used them. Most of them are not even touched. So I got In the Garden, which looks like that. And I bought these a couple weeks ago, and I haven't really played with them that much. But they're nice. And then she gave me, uh, what is this one? In the Moment, which is the purple one. And this one, which is very popular. Everybody talks about this on YouTube. And this is In the Know, right? No, just kidding. It's in the Light, In the Nose, the matte one. And it's the neutral one with kitten in it that everybody talks about, which is okay. Okay, I guess I'll show you next what I got online. And the first things are kind of boring. It's a steel, stainless steel palette and a spatula. Got these two. Do things on. Mix foundations and whatever. Okay. And I got that from eBay and they were only $8. So before you go and spend like $40 at MAC or wherever, because even on Camera Ready Cosmetics, whatever, whatever, I don't know. They have ones that are like $12, $14, but both of those together were $8. And they're nice. Like they're, it's thick. It's not like bendy or anything. It has like the little thumb hole. Yeah, those are really nice. So I'll link those in the bottom. Those are good. The next thing is these eyeshadows. Not all of them. I can't really tell you. There's like probably more than half of these. I got some of them are Morph, Morph brushes, which are only two dollars, which is wonderful because they're really good. Except for they have mineral oil in them, and I'm not really a fan of that, but whatever. And then the other half are Coastal Scents. And yeah, I think Coastal Scents are two dollars too and I got them they were on sale a couple weeks ago for a dollar so yeah they also have mineral oil in them but if you're not against them that doesn't bother your eyes or anything and it stays on you these are really pigmented and smooth and creamy and nice okay the next thing is I placed a tart order around my birthday which was last month and tart sends you like a 20% off thing for your birthday which is cool because who doesn't want 20% off and the first thing was I got was something I've been eyeing and I was like no I don't need it I have enough palettes obviously and so I waited and waited and then so Sephora and Ulta were sold out and then I was sad but I had the coupon from Tarte and I checked on there and it had they had it and this is the Be Magnificent palette look at how pretty that is it's like a some kind of fancy rock that I don't know the name of and these are all matte. And it comes with eight eyeshadows and a blush. And the blush is supposed to be like their Amazonian clay blushes that everybody talks about. But this is so much smoother. 
Not that those aren't smooth, but this just, it's creamier, and I like it. And a perfectly usable brush, so got that for 20% off. Yeah. And then the other thing that was really, it's its a Christmas set. They It came out around holiday time on QVC, and I wanted it then, but I was like, no, you don't need that. Put it down. Take it out of your basket. And then I got it anyway, so it didn't work. And it's, it was the Boeing, it's the Boeing Go set. This is only one of the boxes, you know how it, it comes with three boxes. But it comes with an eyeshadow palette, and not even gonna lie, I haven't used this, and I've had it for like a month. But that's what it looks like. And they have really nice colors, they're really like neutral. A lot of them are matte. How many are matte? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine of these are matte, so that's pretty good, since there's only 16 in here, so more than half are matte. And I'll use that eventually. Then it came with four Tarte Lip Surgences, and these are the Lip Cream Formula. Not gonna lie, I'm not super crazy about these. I'm still kind of trying them, but... And then it also came with, not the next thing, because this is all one kit. It came with two Smolder Eyes. And these are just like giant eyeliners. They're like chubby sticks. You use them as bases or whatever. And it came with two Lars Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is mascaras. And this one is just the one that I don't have open. I have the other one over there. And then they sent me a sample of Tarte Lights Camera Flashes, which is, I don't know what the difference is, but it comes in the gold tube. And it's a nice size sample, considering like that's why I like to order from the actual companies a lot of times, like Tarte, like not from Sephora, you know how they sell a bunch of different brands, but if you order from the companies like Urban Decay or Tarte or wherever, they always send you good size samples as opposed to like the little packets of things that you just leave sitting around until you die. Okay, so the next thing is a random the balm thing, and this is Balms Away, what is this, it's like a makeup remover, and it it looks like a giant lip balm and I really like the packaging because it looks like oldie timesy whatever you know vintage and it looks like that and it looks like a giant lip balm if I could open it what's it there I haven't tried it but and the next things are from bare minerals bare essentials whatever bare minerals is by bare set whatever and that brand the first thing is a bare mineral ready eyeshadow quad in the elements looks like that I don't have this one so that's nice I really like the quality of these eyeshadows and I should use them more which I sh will now next thing is a blush and this is I covered the name with a magnet but I think I'm pretty sure this is called the faux pas is that how you say it I'll put the name down there so these are really nice I swatched them and then I got a few other things. So obviously we go overboard in everything in our life. Apparently. So the first thing I got was a duo and I don't even know why. I just don't have that many green eyeshadows and I thought it was pretty. And the, this one is the winner is. See it? And it has like a green and a like a weird gold green whatever color. Mm, helpful. Looks like that. And the colors are chart topper and hit single and then let me show you something else first okay then we got a bronzer in the skinny dip and it's just a bronzer it kind of looks like it has like a very slight sheen like it looks matte when you look at it but it nothing that would prevent you from being able to contour with this and this is what did I tell you the name skinny dip it's like a golden color the next two things are blushes and this one is in the close call and this is just like a nice neutral with a little bit of mauve in it so that's really nice can't wait to use that one these are things that I actually haven't used most of the time I just get my little grimy fingers and everything right away. And the next one is the Whisper. 
The Whisper? Yeah, The Whisper. And this is like, this looks like um, Tarte Exposed. If you like that blush? Hmm. Maybe a little bit lighter. In the pan it looks like that, but on the swatch it looks a little lighter. So we shall see about that one. The next thing is Ulta with their really loud bags. And I only got three things from there. And the first thing I got is the Freeman Peel Off Mask Cucumber. Looks like this. It's supposed to be clarifies and renews skin. It's, kind of, it's moisturizing. I've tried this in a little packet and I really liked it. That's why I got the bigger size. I wanted the sulfur. Sulfur mask. They didn't have any, and I was sad. Walmart didn't have it. Target didn't have it. They're just ruining my life. But yeah, this one works really good. I've tried this one. I haven't tried the sulfur one, but this one, if you have dry skin, it helps. And it actually, like, makes your skin feel clean because you have to, like, peel it off in, like, one big, like, dead skin-looking piece. And it just makes your skin feel clean and soft. The next thing is Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe and Herb. And... Aloe herbs and rose water. And it looks like this. This smells really good. I keep smelling it. And I've heard a lot of people talk about it. So I've got it. It's only $7. So it's good. Right? And I sprayed this with my mouth open earlier. And it kind of even tastes sweet. So <laughs> that's a plus. The last thing I got from Ulta is something that I've been wanting. And did I need another eyeshadow palette? No not at all. It's probably like the last thing on earth I need. But I got the Lorac Unzipped palette. I've just been wanting this and everybody talks about it. And apparently I just have to have everything. I have no self-control, apparently. And I could have sworn that other people's palettes, other people's palettes, yeah, were like fatter, whiter, but that's how mine looks. And it has all these gorgeous colors. Look at those. And four of them are matte. So those three are matte. And that one is matte. These are really nice. I was sticking my fingers in them at the store. Mm -hmm. They're nice. And it came with a Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. Which... I don't know about you guys, but if you buy palettes, a lot of palettes come with eye primers. I don't even remember the last time I bought an eye primer. Like, years ago. Okay, so last thing. This way. I don't even know if it's all square in here. I might have just... Nope. I just cram shit in here, apparently. First thing is the birthday present, because last month it was my birthday. Yay, I'm getting old as... Oh. I'm like... No, I didn't go there. And you get a Makeup Forever lipstick and mascara. So, if I could get it out of here. What color is the lipstick? In N9. Which is like this clay color. I don't know why I keep describing things as clay colored, but does this look like clay? It does to me. It's like a red brown neutral color that I probably won't wear, but I might mix it with something. Not the, I'm not a huge fan of Makeup Forever lipsticks, but it was free. <laughs> the other thing it co that comes in this little birthday g gift is Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. Extravagant. Yeah. And I almost opened it, but I didn't. I need to not open it. Because I have a million mascaras open. <sighs> Okay, let's go with all the free things before we start getting into the things that we actually bought. Okay. First thing, since it's like the VIB or whatever sale, they give you this little makeup bag, which it's not like the best quality ever, but it's nice. It's cute. It looks very summery, don't you think? And it's a very good size for your purse and stuff. Yeah. And then... Then, what... I was really excited about was this. It was a 500 point perk, and I usually just like hoard all my points until forever. But I really thought this was a good one, and I like the little quilted bag. It's like 
uh, nylon, so it's really easy to clean and you can just throw it in the washer. And it's a good little size. So I use my points on this and it came with some good stuff. It came with a Balenciaga perfume in Rosa Botanica. Rosa Botanica. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I say it in my mind. It's fine. We'll just cut that part out. <laughs> and it's like a good size. It's, you know, the little vials that you get in samples. These are, this is probably like three times, two or three times the size of that. So that's nice. And I think it's, it's a really cute little bottle. So, and I do like the way it smells. It's very floral. Hence the Rosa Botanica. Better? Okay. And then it came with a bite lip pencil in pomegranate. I already have this, don't I? Or I have one that maybe not this color. This is really nice. I like these a lot. Then it came with a Josie Maron, Maron, Josie Maron, 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 whatever. This chick, Josie Moran, whatever. Argan oil, and it's a good little size. How much? How many? This is five milliliters, and you barely need any. So that's cool, and I really like this. I have a, I have like the medium size one too, but this one looks really cute next to my bed. It's like a little potion. Um. Did I show you everything besides this? The last thing that came in here is the Hourglass Veil Primer. And it says Best Selling Primer. And this is the same size that came with the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette in the holiday kit thing. Um, and I still have some of that, so I haven't even opened this. And I really like this primer a lot. It's really expensive. So we just savor it. It's like drops of sunshine on your face. The next thing is, I don't know what the hell I did with the box. It was in the drawer, and then it wasn't. I don't know. But this is a NARS blush. Oh, right. Paper. And it it's in the color Sin. Which this is probably the thing that I have had the longest. This is a really good blush. I think it would be lovely on darker skin tones. And I have a lighter skin tone, and it looks good. So... The next thing is Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complex Prep Spray. Apparently I like sprays today. Or lately. Looks like that. That's how the bottle looks. So it says redness reducing and pore minim minimizing oil absorbing. We'll see about that. But it has like a little green lid. I just leave this lid on. I don't know why. Is there a purpose that they put two lids on? Maybe so the magic doesn't escape. We'll see. So the last two things are, one thing is another eyeshadow palette. We're never buying, I'm not buying palettes anymore because it's getting, it's getting ridiculous. But this palette is one that I had told myself that, oh, you don't really need that. You're not a clown. Not that I think that people wear that wear bright makeup are clowns because I do that sometimes too. It's just like, it's not something that I would get use out of every day. And I have like all the sugar pill eyeshadows. So if they're like along a line, uh, along the same lines as this, and then, let me just shut up and say it's the Urban Decay Electric palette, which is lovely. It's just that I didn't, you know, I don't need any of this shit. But whatever, I'm just kidding. It looks like that. Let me say first off, everybody's been saying that they're mad because some of these eyeshadows are not FDA approved because some of them have a certain red dye that is not FDA approved. So, well, they're not FDA approved for around your eyes. I don't really follow them. I'll put it around my eyes if I want, but I have a, I'm really sensitive to red dye. So that probably, that's, that's another reason that it's like, why, why'd you need this? But I'm gonna try to use it anyway. So if I burn my eyeball off, I'll let you know. The last thing. The last thing is something that, I don't know, I just wanted, and it's kind of expensive for a face powder, but I've just been wanting it. And I have like the little trio that came out during holidays and it's from Hourglass. It's an ambient lighting powder. That's the box, in case you want to look, look to know what the box looks like. And it's, it's how the packaging looks, it's like a bronzy color. And I got the color in Diffuse Light, the yellowy one, the light yellow one. If you're oily, this is definitely not for you. Has no kind of oil absorbing properties or anything like that, but it's a gorgeous powder. I use it on my cheeks, my dry cheeks, and looks 
lovely. So that was everything. And now I have this big giant pile of crap right here. You wanna see? Mm. Can you see? Yeah. Mm -mm. So we're gonna be on a, a no buy or very low buy from now on because this is excessive. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Bye, thanks for watching.